Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.45. It is Thursday. Uh, today's topic is Milky Way Galaxy wormholes. Because, you know, we, we still can't figure out where all this dark matter is. What's going on? Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosome space, the electrons, light, the magnetism, all particles, and momentum, of receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? Um, so let's recap. Uh, dark matter. Uh, why do we think there's dark matter? Because the universe is uh, doing stuff to light uh, based off gravitational pull and mass in the universe and we're looking around and we can't see where all this mass in the universe is so there's got to be something there we don't know what that something is we're gonna call it dark matter um, again you know uh, mass and light um, when when light passes a mass it'll deflect a little bit because of the gravitational pull um, and so we see all this light deflecting in the universe. We don't know where the mass is. Um, so scientists recently, you know, they're 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 trying to find this mass, and uh, they're pretty much when when you can't figure something out, you know, you start opening up, you know, possibilities to to think about new theories and whatnot. And they still can't figure out uh, the dark matter situation. They, they've done their calculations and redone their calculations and they, you know, they, one, one tangent that they went along, they think that, well, um, gravity affects light, but maybe the mass that's producing that gravity doesn't affect light, meaning, you know, like, if, if, uh, if I'm a planet, well, a planet will block light if the light gets, you know, if the light hits the planet. Uh, they think, they think, they used to think, who knows what they think now, uh, they used to think that dark matter, even though the gravitational pull of dark matter was bending light, um, if light ever intersected with that dark matter, it would just pass on through. Um, and they, they think, they theorized a particle that did this. Well, now they think, well, maybe instead of, uh, you know, not affecting light at all besides gravity. Maybe it affects light a little bit so that if, if light hit it, maybe um, most of the light went through, but some of the light got blocked. Um, and so they're running their calculations on that theory, and they think that's a closer theory, but someone came along and said, well, uh, let's, let's think about all possibilities of theories. And they said, well, what if... Uh, what if, what if the Milky Way galaxy, now again, the Milky Way galaxy is the galaxy that we sit in. Uh, we, you know, if this is our galaxy and Milky Way is a spiral, the Earth is like over here along one of these spiral arms. What if our Milky Way galaxy is actually a wormhole connected to another galaxy? So what's a wormhole? Uh, we've heard of wormholes before. They're a conduit, uh, a fold in space-time. Let's say this is space, right? The fabric of space. And let's say you folded space and you punched a hole right here, right? Uh, and had that connection. That and that would connect these two points in space time space time that would be your wormhole let's say you started here you went through the hole and you popped out over here that's your wormhole that is a fold in space time connects two points in space time um, the math supports it I don't know how I mean, that's complicated math <laughs> uh, but what, what if the Milky Way galaxy is one of these wormholes? Could that account for the extra mass that we cannot detect, um, that is gravitationally pulling light but not influencing light in any other way? Um, and the math says, yes, we, it could be. 
the, the Milky Way galaxy could be a wormhole. And not only that, the math says if it is a wormhole, it could be a navigable wormhole. Navigable? That's one of these words I saw, and I'm like, is that a word? Navigable, meaning able to be navigated. Uh, put that into your dictionary. Huh? It, the, the, the math says it is a navigable entity, meaning we could go into the wormhole and pop out somewhere else. Uh, we don't know where. Uh, we don't know if it's true. Again, eight years ago, our math said that the bumblebee didn't fly. And then we corrected it. Oh, bumblebee can fly. Well, right now our math says, yeah, yeah, we're a wormhole. Yeah, we can go through it. Yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, but <laughs> who knows? Uh, is it testable? Not really. What are you going to do? Uh, we don't have any spacecraft. We can barely get beyond our solar system with a spacecraft. We, we got to, to be able to test it, we'd have to be able to send spacecraft that travels a lot faster than what we have right now. We just don't have that tech. Uh, so, for now, we'll just rely on math that uh, may or may not be true. Uh, it's, it's certainly interesting to think about, instead of, instead of all this mass that's supposed to be here that we can't detect, what if light is behaving this way because... Um, the mass that we do detect here in the Milky Way galaxy is being helped out by mass on the other end of a wormhole that's connecting our galaxies. That's that's an interesting thought. Um, you know, that's uh, uh, it's kind of a brilliant explanation. That way, we don't have to deal with these mystery particles or whatever. But who knows if it's true? It, it'd be difficult to test, but. Anyway, there you have it. Milky Way galaxy wormholes. Uh, uh, so on the flip side, we may not be able to go through, but um, what if there's an alien race on the other side of that wormhole with an armada of spaceships ready to travel through and take over us? There we go. There's my conspiracy theory mind going again. Anyway, I gotta go get to work. You have gotta go do whatever it is you do. Um... Uh, We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you for watching another episode of Way Too Early for Explanations. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like button down here. If you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I'll post links at the bottom of the description field. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button around here. If you want to get to my channel to see more videos, you can click on the link to Way Too Early for Explanations, or you can click on the eye chart that shows up in the upper right hand corner. Every morning I try to kick out more videos, um, so stay tuned and come on back if you want to observe more early morning technical battles. Thanks again.